Okay, part nine. Let's build out some feet and some toes. Okay? You know what we're doing. We're extruding like we always do, like old times. We'll scale that out a little bit. NBD, no big deal. And then uh, give it a little rotation with R. And now you want to select the just the back heel portion. And we're going to extrude the heel down from the foot. Okay? We do that with E. And then we can select the front of the foot. And now let's extrude out the front of the foot. Okay? Now, uh, we can extrude again. You can scale this out to kind of zero it out, flatten it out, if you will. Uh, that's no big deal. We'll extrude one more time. Flatten that out. And then let's... Uh, Let's fill in the bottom of our foot. So we'll, we'll select that entire edge loop at the bottom of the foot, scale it on the X at zero, so it's completely flat. And then let's select uh, the entire edge loop except for the back heel and bridge those edge loops. Okay? There we go. So now we got a little pad foot. Um, to connect the back heel, we're going to control R, make a couple of loop cuts, and then we're just going to go... Uh, four at a time, four vertices, hit F to make a face, four vertices, hit F to make a face, and four vertices, hit F, make a face, bada bing, bada boom. We got ourselves the makings of a foot, the trimmings of a foot. Uh, let's relax the edge loop um, onto which we'll uh, build out our toes, and now let's make the toes. And to work smarter, not harder, let's just grab... Uh, half of our knuckle for the finger that we made. Okay, let's hit Control D to duplicate that. Uh, separate the selection with P to make it its own object. Um, rotate it on the x-axis to get it facing forwards. Bring it down. Bring it over. Line it up to where you want your your big toe, your your first little piggy, to be, and then. Um, and in the same way that we built our fingers, we're going to just build the toes. Okay, so make this a little fatter because that big toe is always a little bit bigger. Shift E to duplicate. Bring it over on the x-axis. Thin it out a little bit. And that's the second little piggy. The third little piggy, uh, the one that went to the market, the one that had roast beef, the one that had none. And then uh, the one who cried um, like a little like a little, like a little pig, squealed like a pig all the way home. Then you're going to select all of the individual objects, which are toes, control J to join them into one toes object, just like we did the fingers. And then the same thing, um, we're going to, we've connected them as an object, but now we want to connect them in, in the 3d world. And we're going to do that by, um, creating that webbing in between the toes. So just grab the edges or the vertices and fill it. Right? and create that webbing uh, to make the toes one, uh, essentially one object instead of five individual parts of an object. And if, if there's any uh, you know, weird overlap here, it's probably because of the spacing between your toes. So just you know, take care um, to make sure the spacing is properly spaced, right? Okay, one more. Four vertices, hit F. Now you should be able to um, click around that and get one full solid edge loop. And then the same way we built our hand, you're going to extrude out of that and then scale it up on the Z. And now, same way we connected our hand to our wrist. We have all this extra geometry with these vertices that we made. And we need now to create the same amount of vertices as are on our foot. So just like we did, we're going to um, select three verts at a time and then uh, merge at center. Before we do that, obviously, we need to select the toe object and the body object and control J them, right? Uh, we need to join the objects. And then once we do, just find, you know, see how they match on your model. Select three, merge at center, same thing, one, two, three, M to merge at center, okay? 
And then now, just like we did last time, we created triangles. We need to get rid of these edges, and we're just going to right-click to dissolve these edges. And now we have happy little quads, right? And that's that's what we're looking for. We're always looking for the happy little quads. And what we do on the top of the foot, we got to do on the bottom of the foot. So let's uh, go upside down. You can either move manually with your middle mouse, or you can control numpad 7 to get the uh, upside down view. We'll select three verts, um, merge with M at center, and we're just getting rid of vertices, you guys. That's all we're doing, like old hat. You've done this a bunch by now. Um, you did it with the hands, and, or excuse me, we did it with the, the fingers, and now we're doing it with the toes, okay? And uh, this might not look like yours looks, right? You're gonna have to figure out how many vertices you have on your foot, and how many vertices you have on your toes and it's going to be on you to make those match and then obviously remember to clean up your geometry select all the edges right click dissolve edges boom more happy little quads now we should be able to start selecting uh, our edges and bridging the edge loop so you can just select two edges hit f to make a face and then do it again and then do it again and you should be able to work your way around. Now, we're not going to be able to make our way around the entirety of the foot. The geometry is still a little wonky. Um, but do what you can, and then we'll show you how to fix anything else with, uh, with the knife tool. But as much as you, like right here, we're going to need the knife tool. You can see we have a quad going into two quads. But until we got to deal with that, we're just going to keep going. Um, and again, if there's any weird overlap, just, just move your mesh a little bit to, to open it up um, or get it where it needs to be so there's, so there's no unnecessary creasing um, of any kind, okay? And this is, this is pretty stretched geometry here, but honestly, it's the bottom of the foot and his piggly wigglies are going to be inside of some space boots, so it's not something you're ever going to see. Okay, uh, if you're going to use the knife tool, I recommend taking the subdivision surface modifier off. Then you have rigid geometry that you can cut, and it's just easier to cut. And you're going to want to cut quads in our model, okay? Around a triangle. And once we've done that, let's let's just connect everything. And now we got a face here, just like this. And then we got another face here, like that. But we've created a couple of triangles, and so now we want to get rid of those, dissolve the edge, boom, happy little quad. And then let's do it one more time okay and we'll do it on the pinky toe right and we'll just go up and this is this is the exact same thing we were doing um, on our hand on the uh, the the back side of our hand and this you know this will help uh, with bends if and when it rigs but again everything we're doing here is really gonna be covered up so okay and uh, just like that we got some feet so get up, get a stretch, get a bend, and we'll see you in the next one.